Okay, so this week's total divas, this is September 22nd. So we're getting towards the end of this season, so what do we get? They go on a massive vacation. To where? Tulum, Mexico. Where's Tulum located? Eh, it's uh, pretty close to Cancun. So when they landed, it's actually the Cancun airport. I've been there quite a few times. Tulum itself is a beautiful Mayan ruins just set off of an absolutely gorgeous crystal blue water. You know, they showed a little bit of it, and of course, they don't show a lot of it. It's got these gigantic, super thick walls with small uh, small passages in between them. So, a very great, heavily fortified city. Actually, the way the, uh, the coastline is, it's so jagged that it was tough for ships to make their way through. So you had a giant, thick wall to prevent people from coming from the jungle, and you had a really fantastic, almost like natural defensive barrier in order to get your way through. <clears throat> so of course they're pretty much all in bikinis and whatever. That's when Paige decides to go, I'm engaged. So a lot of wedding talk with Paige kind of going, I don't want to talk about a wedding, because that makes it real. You know? Because engagement rings don't. Bree is now, again, partially estranged from her father. Nikki says she's probably talked to him again. Brian says she's talked to him again because she never when he might pass. There's a heavy, heavy emphasis on uh, TJ and Cesaro. With Andy being like, every time I talk to Cesaro, he's talking about TJ. Every time I see TJ, he's either talking to Cesaro or talking about Cesaro. And you know what? Because they're awesome. So that weird, awkward chemistry where, like, they were walking out of the ring, and it would be like, I'll give you a high five. I'll give you a duke. And Natty was like, high five? No. Well, they walk out and they're like, oh, you know, matching together, looking, just mugging with each other, like, yeah, we're having an awesome time. And Natty was like, and me. Hey, guys. And they did that awesome <laughs> fact. And she's just there like, I'm in the frame for this awesome gift you'll only see on cage side seats all the time. So the word awkwardness they have where she was like a third wheel is totally legit and it was fantastic. So of course, Paige, the vicious prankster she is, decides to go, what? Maybe he's gay. So they call up TJ and he's like, hey, you like Cesaro, right? Oh yeah, Cesaro's great. <laughs> he's the best partner I've ever had. He can clean and jerk 135 with one hand. I think he's just trying to, I don't even know what his max is. And he's saying these things not knowing that the previous conversation is, I think TJ's gay with Cesaro. And the moment you're like, he can clean and jerk with one hand. Bet you he can, TJ. Bet you he can. So they had a tremendous amount of laughter, which was a good thing to have after... As they, as they arrive at the ruins of Tulum, that's when there's the, the tweet of, um, the, of the passing of Dusty Rhodes. And, you know, he was the one who really believed in TJ, thought that he actually could cut a promo, you know, that he was very charismatic. He did he had a lot of work with all the... the he did a lot of work with the NXT kids. He believed a lot in Paige when they were like, Paige, you need to dye your hair and wear these bright colors. And Paige's like, he's like, no, baby. You my girl, the dragon tattoo, you my princess. Do what you gotta do, baby. I love you the way you are. And again, they brought up the, he liked the broken toys. If you show up and you're the total package, he didn't need to do anything with you. But if you had a flaw, man, he wanted to work with you on that flaw and he wanted to fix it. He wanted to make sure that he made you better. If you were 90% there, the 10% you'll pick on your own. If you had a lot of promise, but you had this one glaring problem, man, Dusty was there for you. You're the one that he wanted. He wanted to take what you had as a deficiency, take what you had that was fantastic, and say, you know what? You are an individual. The thought you can make this work. Now, you got to look the thing. And, of course, this is coming from a guy who was an overweight guy who got over as an amazing in-ring worker, an amazing promo, and even a sex symbol, while in black and yellow polka dots. I think the man knows something about swimming upstream. But it was just a, that sequence by itself, 
where like Naomi's crying and Paige is crying and Talia's crying and the bells are off camera. And it was just like, wow, that's just a raw, a raw moment. So, you know, the stuff in the bikinis, I, I could care less. And we'll wear that just how you get watches, whatever. Skip through a lot of that because all I'm talking about is look at my bikini top. My bikini bottom. Oh, sexy photo shoot. Yay. We are so drunk. Hmm. I want to watch people talk about wrestling and wrestling related things. I don't want to watch The Hills. Next week's season finale. So we go from Dusty Rhodes to dying to getting to see the footage of Tyson Kidd getting his career ended by a muscle buster. So we're going we're gonna to leave on a, ha on a high note with Natalia like, freaking out. Maybe they'll show the massive scar he's got. That's uh, like the whole base of his neck. And the person who was there with him through a lot of the surgery, Cesaro. Buddy. So kind of a downer episode, you know, but they had to deal with it. And next week, they'll actually show footage of the, the Tyson Kidd injury.